What's up everybody? It's I. Back with another video and today we're diving deep into the world of phone hacking. We're talking about how it happens, why it happens, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself from becoming a victim. Phone hacking isn't just something you see in spy movies, it's a real threat that can have serious consequences. Make sure you stick around until the end, because I'm going to share some essential tips that will help you stay safe and secure in this digital world. Alright, let's get started by defining what we mean by phone hacking. In simple terms, it's unauthorized access to your phone and the data stored on it. This could include anything from your contacts and messages to your photos, videos, and even your financial information. There's ethical hacking, also known as white hat hacking, where security professionals try to find vulnerabilities in systems to make them more secure. But then there's the bad kind, the black hat hacking, where people are trying to steal your information or cause harm. And let me be clear. Hacking into someone's phone without their permission is illegal and can land you in some serious trouble. This video is purely for educational purposes to help you understand the risks and how to protect yourself. Our phones are basically mini computers now, carrying a ton of personal and sensitive information. From our online banking details and passwords to our social media accounts and emails, it's all there in our pockets. In the next chapter, we'll take a closer look at some of the most common methods hackers use to gain access to your phone. Your smartphone is essentially a pocket-sized computer, and just like your laptop or desktop, it's susceptible to hacking. Hackers target phones because they offer a gateway to a treasure trove of valuable information. Think about it. Your contacts, messages, photos, videos, they all hold personal value. But it's the financial data that really gets hackers excited. Your online banking credentials, credit card information, and even your mobile payment apps are all potential targets. Many people don't take phone security as seriously as they do with their computers. They might have top-notch antivirus software on their laptops but leave their phones vulnerable. Plus, our phones are with us everywhere we go. We use them to connect to public Wi-Fi, click on links and emails and messages and download apps, all potential entry points for hackers. In the wrong hands, the information stored on your phone can be used for a wide range of malicious activities from identity theft and financial fraud to blackmail and cyberstalking. Up next, we'll explore some of the common techniques hackers use to infiltrate your phone. Okay, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how hackers actually get into your phone. There are a few common methods they use and understanding these tactics is the first step in protecting yourself. One of the most prevalent methods is through malicious apps. These apps often disguise themselves as legitimate games, utilities, or social media tools, tricking you into downloading them. Once installed, they can steal your data, spy on your activity, or even take control of your phone's functions. Then there's phishing, a classic hacking technique that's still very effective. Phishing attacks usually arrive via email, text message, or social media messages, and they try to trick you into clicking on malicious links or revealing your personal information. These messages might look like they're from a trusted source like your bank or a legitimate company, but they're designed to steal your login credentials or infect your device with malware. Hackers might use tools to gain access to your phone's network, intercept your data, or even remotely control your device. It's a scary thought, but it's the reality of the digital world we live in. In the next chapter, we're going to dive into the essential steps you can take to protect yourself from these threats. Chapter 4. Protecting Yourself from Phone Hacking Alright, now that you know what you're up against, let's talk about how to fortify your defenses. Protecting yourself from phone hacking is all about adopting good cybersecurity habits and being proactive about your digital security. First and foremost, lock your phone. I know it seems obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people leave their phones unlocked and vulnerable. Set a strong passcode, PIN, or use biometric authentication like fingerprint scanning or facial recognition to secure your device. Next, be extremely cautious about the apps you download. Stick to official app stores like the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and always read reviews before installing anything. Be wary of apps with very few downloads, negative reviews, or those that request unnecessary permissions. Phishing attacks are sneaky, so be vigilant about suspicious links and messages. Don't click on links from unknown senders and double-check the sender's address before clicking on anything that looks even remotely fishy. Your passwords are your first line of defense, so make them strong and unique. 
Use a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and avoid using the same password for multiple accounts. Consider using a reputable password manager. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. When you enable 2FA, you'll need to enter a unique code from your phone or email in addition to your password when logging in. Chapter 5. Social Engineering and Human Psychology Now let's talk about social engineering because technical skills aren't the only weapons in a hacker's arsenal. Social engineering is all about manipulating people into giving up information or access they shouldn't. Hackers are masters of deception, and they often exploit human psychology to achieve their goals. They might create fake identities, posing as someone you trust, like a coworker, a bank representative, or even a friend, to gain your confidence. They often create a sense of urgency or use fear tactics to pressure you into acting quickly, without thinking things through. They might say your account has been compromised and you need to update your password immediately, or they might threaten you with some kind of consequence if you don't comply with their demands. Always be wary of unsolicited requests for personal information, especially if they come from unknown sources or seem suspicious in any way. Legitimate organizations will never ask for your passwords or sensitive information over email or phone. If you receive a request that seems even slightly off, take a moment to verify it through official channels. By understanding the tactics hackers use and being aware of the psychological principles they exploit, you can be better prepared to spot and avoid these attacks. Up next, we'll go over some telltale signs that your phone might already be compromised. Chapter 6 So, you've taken all the precautions, but how can you be sure your phone is actually secure? Well, it's important to be able to recognize the signs of a potential hack. Keep an eye out for any unusual activity on your phone. This could be anything from strange messages or calls you didn't make to unfamiliar apps you don't remember downloading. If you notice any apps that you don't recognize or that seem suspicious, uninstall them immediately. Has your phone been acting glitchy? A hacked phone might experience a sudden decrease in performance, including sluggishness, frequent crashes, or apps taking a long time to load. Another red flag is rapid battery drain. If your battery is draining much faster than usual, it could be a sign that a malicious app is running in the background, consuming your phone's resources. Speaking of resource consumption, keep an eye on your data usage. If you notice a significant spike in your data usage without any explanation, it could be another sign that your phone has been compromised. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the steps you need to take if you suspect your phone has been hacked. Chapter 7 Okay, so you've detected some suspicious activity and you're pretty sure your phone has been compromised. Don't panic, but it's time to take action quickly. The first thing you should do is disconnect from the internet. This means turning off both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This will help prevent hackers from accessing your phone remotely and stealing more of your data. Next, change all of your passwords, and I mean all of them. Start with your most important accounts, like your email, banking, and social media, and then work your way down the list. Use strong, unique passwords for each account, and enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. Now, depending on the severity of the hack, you might want to consider performing a factory reset on your phone. This will erase all data from your phone and restore it to its original factory settings. It's a drastic step, but it's often the most effective way to remove any malicious software and start fresh. Don't hesitate to reach out to your service provider and report the hack. They might be able to help you identify the source of the hack, block unauthorized access to your account, or even provide you with a new SIM card if necessary. Remember, taking swift action can significantly limit the damage caused by a phone hack. The sooner you act, the better your chances of protecting your data and your privacy. Chapter 8 Look, the reality is that cybersecurity is an ongoing battle. Hackers are constantly evolving their methods, finding new vulnerabilities to exploit. This means that staying safe requires ongoing vigilance and a commitment to staying informed about the latest threats. Make it a habit to keep your phone's software up to date. Operating system updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities, making it harder for hackers to gain access. Be cautious about the information you share online. The more information you share publicly, the easier it is for hackers to build a profile on you and target you with phishing attacks or social engineering scams. 
regularly back up your important data. This way, even if your phone is compromised, you won't lose your precious photos, videos, or documents. By understanding the risks and taking the necessary precautions, you can significantly reduce your chances of becoming a victim of phone hacking. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe out there in the digital world. Outro So that's pretty much it for phone hacking. It's a scary thought. But the more you know about how it works, the better you can protect yourself. Keep those passwords locked down, be wary of shady links, and keep your software updated. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.